Welcome, Cosmic Explorers, to our celestial haven. Today, we have a remarkable treat in store for you. We are diving headfirst into the enigmatic universe of Andromedan contactee, Alex Collier. But before we embark on this cosmic journey, remember to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell to join our ever-expanding community. Trust us, you won't want to miss a single moment of the awe-inspiring content we're about to unleash. Sit back and relax, and listen to Alex Collier discussing the divine connection between God and the Andromedans. Do you know something about how the Andromedans connect themselves with God, or are they connected constantly anyway? In these days, the connection with God is one of the most important things, in my opinion, because we feel safe inside and the surrounding cannot harm us. Thank you, and thank you for calling us a family. I love it. Karen from Bavaria. Thank you, Karen, or Karen. I think that's how they pronounce it over there. Um, I spent some time in Bad Seikian in the early 2000s, and I loved southern Germany. Um, I do not know how the A's, their spiritual work or practice, Their, their view of reality is, is holographic. It is, it is a completely different approach than we humans have here. And, you know, my ability to experience everything they did was limited because of my physicality. You know, when I was taken on board, um, you know, I would walk into the beam of light and somewhere between the ground and the platform which i landed on you could say i was beamed up okay it's an appropriate um it's an appropriate narrative somewhere between that i could feel on my waist the belt click i could hear it and i could feel it and then i would physically manifest there and this tech that i wore this belt literally created my own atmosphere around me, my own environment, one that I could process. In other words, uh, it would alter their, uh, their air to something that I would very comfortably breathe, my body. Um, it, uh, they would have water and uh, fruits and things that uh, I could use and eat for the period of time that I was there. In other words, they would create things from earth for me specifically to eat. Uh, there was no flesh, uh, but it was grains. It, not all of it even tasted like here, but I always felt really good on it. Uh, the fruit, a lot of apples, pears, carrots, um, something that they said was a grapefruit, which Mm, that was, I ate it, <laughs> uh, but no, I think they missed on that one, but it didn't harm me. But as far as the taste, they missed on that. <laughs> okay. Uh, and yes, there were things, because of my relationship with uh, Morinay and Phaseas, there were things that my consciousness and my subconscious was aware of uh, as far as the physical nature of and those things I saw. But it took quite a while for me to see some of the uh, life that was going on around them, especially in the park areas, that I had absolutely no idea was even there because my consciousness didn't even see it. It just didn't know what it was or what to do with it. And it took a while for it to process. So no, I, I did not. Um, I do not know. But you know, as long as you don't deny source, creator, isness, great spirit, 
as long as you don't deny source, you're never apart from source. You, you never actually detach from source. But if you intentionally reach out to connect to all that is, which you are in fact a reflection of, then the presence is always with you. And the more that you, more that you invest in the presence to, to reflect the presence, the more of the presence will fill your space. And, and you're right, that's missing. That's missing. Technology has replaced source. And um, a lot of that was done intentionally. But, you know, when we make the jump to fourth, none of this tech's going to work there anyway. So we'll be starting all over. So and those who jump to fifth, yeah, there's going to be a lot of changes for you and a, a lot of adapting to that. The time has come to transcend boundaries and embrace the cosmos with open minds and open hearts. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell, and join the celestial conversation by leaving a comment below. Prepare to embark on a journey that will reshape your understanding of the universe. As we part ways for now, always remember to keep your cosmic curiosity alive, for the cosmos is boundless, and the wonders it holds are infinite. Together, we will uncover truths that defy conventional understanding. Until our next celestial encounter, we extend our heartfelt gratitude for your continued support, which fuels our mission to shed light on the universal mysteries that surround us. If you would like to see Andromedan contact the Alex Collier live via video stream, we host an online seminar three times a month on a Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. For more information and dates of upcoming online seminars, please visit alexcollier.org. Please click on one of the above videos to seek more of Alex Collier's knowledge.